now children we will see arts it is important to understand various art forms with the help of their style of expression and the foundation in the form of intellectual emotional cultural tradition with the help of cultural history we can understand the key to expressions in any art form emotional temperament of artist and the development developmental history of the respective art form can be understood with the help of cultural history children we know that there are various various forms of arts like painting music sculpture etc and we are very much acquainted with these various art forms we have to understand here the style of the expression of the artist like what emotions are depicted or what emotions is depicted in his art now we know that there is one of the famous art form that is tribal art form that is our uh, of our country that is wali painting understood for example it is a tribal art form understood when we go to in, in museum or any uh, you can say cultural uh, site or cultural place we are we are identify ourselves with that art form we are very fond of this type of art we need to understand here we need to understand how history plays a very important role to preserve and conserve this art form so knowledge and application of history is very important to understand the art forms that we need to understand the expression what type of expression and feelings which uh, which ran through the artist uh, in his mind during that creation understood so we need to understand why we need to understand that art form why that uh, type of art is need to be preserved and conserved because it is very important that we as a indian we are identify we you we are identifying ourselves with that form of art understood whenever we see any type of art form when suppose we are going to uh, western country and if we are seeing any type of indian art form we feel very proud because that from that we can identify ourselves that this, this belongs to this art form is belongs to it it is belong to our country we are from that place so here we need to conserve and preserve our art form uh, with the help of uh, history and there here application of history is very important now see humanities children humanities is nothing but the study and subject of social science you know social science like science commerce uh, we are having humanities so like history it is the study of past humanities are academic disciplines that study human culture the humanities use methods that are primarily critical or speculative that means a uh, speculative and have a significant historical element as distinguished from the mainly empirical approaches of the natural science the humanities include ancient and modern languages literature philosophy religion and visual and performing arts such as music and theater areas that are sometimes regarded as a social science and sometimes and humanities include history archaeology anthropology area studies communication studies classical studies law and linguistics the humanities and social sciences teach us how people have created their world and how they are in turn are created by it children his uh, study of humanities is nothing but the study of social science like history study of past archaeology deals with the study of digging of the past remains and study over it sociology study of society anthropology study of human society and its behavior political science study of politics economics study of economy so all these subjects are part of humanities each subject have its origin why it was started who started and how it benefited how it is benefited to the people and how we can understand and we can understand only with the help of history understood so if we want to understand the social sciences we are supposed to go back to history we already studied about philosophy we already studied about philosophy we studied how good how god was center of the learning and society 
divine intervention was important but after renaissance we already studied about renaissance after renaissance man became center of learning and according to him his identity is also important he thought that he is also very important so things change and he got himself the center of learning mythological stories that means mythological story stories are nothing but the fictional stories that are made up and how people used to uh, talk about god goddesses and how various rituals were performed to gain favor of these god and goddesses but later on people began to challenge their ideologies so in order to understand these theories philosophical theories historical theories we need to go back to history and here application of history is very important understood here application of history is very important and uh, to understand its various stages so here i mean to say application of history or applied history is also very important in the study of humanities